know, recently I've been doing a series on simple faith, we call it. I love that. Do you? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know why we make it complicated because mm -hmm. it was never meant to be. Mm -hmm. However, it can be a little mysterious. Absolutely. It's, it's hard to get our hooks into something mm -hmm. uh, that is th th like faith, mm -hmm. you know, especially when we're not sure what we're hooking into. Mm -hmm. Now, you have walked by faith for many years. Mm -hmm. By that I mean not that you see visions and dream dreams and mm -hmm. wait for handwriting, you know, on the wall, mm -hmm. sky writing or whatever. You, you, your life of faith comes from uh, confidence in God's Word, would you say? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, during those early years when you were, you know, reaching into uh, unreached areas, and at least for you, you had not been there before, uh, how would you pray? How, how would you connect with the life of faith in mm -hmm. stepping into that realm? Well, I had learned uh, that uh, faith is taking God at His word mm. through seeing some of the scriptures that where Jesus said, this is the greatest faith I've ever seen in all of Israel. Right. And it was someone willing to take him at his word in Luke 7. Yeah. And uh, so that his word is truer than how I feel. His word's truer than any circumstance. His word is truer than any situation in my life. Mm. So when I was afraid going in, I would say, okay, Lord, I'm, I'm not going in on my own. Uh, you, you were sending me. Yeah. And everywhere you, I, you send me, I will go. And you promised you'll be with me always. So I took him at his word mm. that he was leading me. And when I was afraid, I would say, Lord, thank you that you haven't given me a spirit of fear, oh. but of power and love and of a sound mind. And yeah. keep going. Isn't that great? Now, as you did that, mm -hmm. did you change a little down inside? Did the, did the fear subside? as you had the confidence that God was going before you? You know, I think his grace, you know, is, he says, my grace is sufficient for uh -huh. me. And the is is every day mm -hmm. sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And right. so I just would take it a day at a time, a situation at a time. Yeah. I remember in Romania one time we were uh, going, going around a, a block trying to go into a gate where people were waiting for us and the gate was locked and people were watching mm. and we were supposed to get in and people had arrived every 30 minutes so as not to draw a crowd. So yeah. we went around the block again and it was still locked and we were people were beginning to look and we just thought, okay, let's go around one more time. And they were looking out the window and they saw us, so mm. they let us in. But that was a very scary time. Yeah, well, it worked for Joshua going yeah. around all those times. <laughs> in that case, the wall fell. Thankfully, yeah, the, the, the gate opened. The gate opened. Yeah, uh, isn't that great? Uh -huh. And you know, when that happens, I have a longtime friend with the navigators that would say, that strengthens my faith. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a good way to put it? it, it you pray, uh -huh. you wait on God, you're facing a situation that is humanly impossible. Mm -hmm. The gate opens, mm -hmm. it strengthens mm -hmm. your faith that God really mm -hmm. did hear what you had to say. Right. And it's like once you do that and you have more confidence yeah. next time. Yeah. He's able to do this, he's able to do this. Isn't it true? Yeah, it, I, we go from faith to faith. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul often says, uh, as he writes about it, to go back and remember what God has done before mm -hmm. and on the basis of that, mm -hmm. you know, operate your life. Mm -hmm. Now, my faith. Mm -hmm.